Katy Perry just keeps spilling that Taylor Swift tea, saying that she assassinated her character in a new interview. Just when you thought Katy was done talking about the Taylor drama, here she goes again. She caught up with British music magazine NME to clarify why she dug up the drama in the first place and how she felt when her favorite producer worked on the record Bad Blood. The previously hushed feud between the pop stars has never been spoken about much until Katy appeared on the Late Late Show's Carpool Karaoke with James Corden. When asked about why she brought it up then, she said, quote, Well, James Corden makes me and the whole world feel very safe. No one has asked me about my side of the story, and there are three sides of every story. One, two, and the truth. And despite the backlash she's been getting for speaking up, she defends herself, adding, I mean, I'm not Buddha. Things irritate me. I wish that I could turn the other cheek every single time, but I'm also not a pushover, you know? Especially when someone tries to assassinate my character with little girls. That's so messed up. Wow, this is the most we've heard from Katie on the matter, and it appears she's still holding resentment for everything that went down. Adding insult to injury, Katy Perry's main producer and co-writer Max Martin created several of her hits, including I Kissed a Girl, Teenage Dream, E.T., Part of Me, Roar, and the list could go on and on. But little do many fans know, he also produced and co-wrote Taylor Swift's Bad Blood, aka the track that really sparked the massive feud between the two superstars. But apparently Katie didn't get hung up on that, telling NME, quote, I can't speak for Max, but he didn't know who Bad Blood was about. I'm not supposed to tell him what he can and can't do. I'm very fair. I'm super duper fair. I'm not one of those people who's like, you can't do that because I don't like that person. Just like, you do you, make your own choices. I'm not his mother. Which can be seen as spilling quite a bit of tea, considering this whole thing started when Taylor was upset that her dancers chose to leave her tour to go on Katie's. The full interview doesn't drop until tomorrow, so we'll see if she dishes anything else. But in the meantime, we want to hear from you. What do you think about these new Katie Taylor details? Let us know in the comments below, then click over here to watch the cringiest clip of Jerry Seinfeld swerving a hug from Kesha during an interview. Thanks for watching Newsfeed. I'm your host, Ava Gordy, and we'll see you guys next time.